Carl Muller, Travel and Adventure. In this video, I will show you how I've installed a DC-DC charger in my caravan. I am doing this because of all the comments I see on social media about how people are confused about DC-DC chargers what they actually are, how you install them, when you use them, etc. It's not that hard to install one. I'll go through the procedure of what I've done. It's working quite efficiently. And I am an electrician, so I know how to do these things, what to use. I have the tools and the knowledge. But the average handyman with some tools and knowledge could also probably do that. So, Let's get into it, and you must realise you only use these when you're driving on the road from point to point, not when you are stopped. Then you have to use something like a solar panel, generator, or caravan power. Okay, thanks. Let's get into it. And it all starts from here on your regular Anderson plug. So I take the lid off. There's your regular Anderson plug, which I think is about 30 amps. I have a 30 amp lead from the second battery on my patrol to the rear end to connect this to. As on the back of the car, there's the Anderson plug. And there is the regular 7-pinner for the van. So this is the start of the charging setup. Now I'll go and show you what's inside under the bed in the caravan. Okay, what we have here under the bed is one of my batteries, which are lithium, 135 amp. And the charger is down here which is this Renology 40 amp. The input's there from the Anderson plug out the front. There's a 30 amp cable running out to the Anderson plug. And in there, if you can see, there's a fuse in the input in case we have any problems to protect everything. The output comes off the other side goes up there to the negative. You can't really see the positive, but that's how it works. And now I'll show you how it gets activated when you want to charge the battery. Now, what I have done to activate the DC charger when you want it working, normally in the car, when you turn the ignition on and start the car, it would start charging. But... Being inside the caravan, you have to do something different. So what I have done is put that switch there. You come into the caravan. You turn it on when you're about to leave. While you're, while you're driving, it is charging. And when you stop for the day, for a break, or whatever, you must come in and turn it off. Otherwise, it will drain still your car battery. So that's pretty easy to do. That's simple. Just a little switch from J car. Well that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you've got a bit of more technical knowledge now on DC DC chargers. And if you haven't, watch my video on this old station. Quite worthwhile. Old history there, some place to visit. All right, well, that's, that's all, and I'll see you in the next video. And once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Buy me a coffee. That's it. Bye.